Hey girls, welcome back to Gal Intelligence. It's me again, Kay, and of course with me is Beardy and Larry. I've just finished watching Pamela Myers' TED Talk about how to spot a liar, and I think we can all benefit from it, especially when we're talking about dating. This is why we decided to make this video, so we can help you spot the nine signs that he's a liar, based of course from that exact TED Talk. Plus, since we want it to be easier for you to spot a liar, we're going to show you the one sign that he's telling the truth. Let's get to it. Number 9. So formal, pal. Okay, girls, when somebody goes out of his way to be so overly formal, then chances are he's lying. You know, when he does not use conjunctions when he used to do so? Now, that's a red flag. But keep in mind, this is only one of the signs that he's a liar, and in itself, it isn't automatically an indicator of lying. Look for other signs, which we'll tell you about throughout this video. Number 8. Qualifying Language One of the easiest ways to spot a liar is to listen carefully and spot qualifying language. These are phrases that are used to amplify the meaning of words, like to tell you honestly, or if I'm being honest. See, when you're really being honest, there's no need to actually say it. You just do it. And this goes both ways. If you want to learn how to make a guy like you with the use of words, be careful not to use qualifying language because you just might sound like a liar. And believe me, this will not help you. Number 7. So many details. Another one of the signs he's a liar is when he tells a story with too much detail. You know, when you hear a story and you think it's too good to be true, then chances are he's not telling you the truth. For example, he came late to your date, and when you ask him why, he tells you an insane story where he left his house at exactly 6.48 p.m. and then he walked down the street where he almost got run over by a shiny yellow sports car driven by a middle-aged man wearing a red shirt who talked to him for about 6.5 minutes to apologize. You just know he's lying. Number 6. Upper Body Freeze Okay, ladies, we've all been there, especially when we're still trying to learn how to get a boyfriend. We freeze. We freeze because we just don't know what to say or because we're trying so hard to know how to impress a guy. The same goes when someone is lying. They freeze, especially their upper bodies. This is because they aren't their usual self, because they're trying to fool you with a lie. And so, when you see that he froze when you asked him why he stayed late at work last night, that's clearly another red flag. Number 5. Too much eye. Well, we know that we've been telling you that eye contact is very important. We've been telling you that if you want to learn how to talk to a guy, you should learn how to look him in the eye because that will show that you're sincere and true. Well, we've also said that if you want to learn how to know if your crush likes you, you should see if he makes eye contact with you. However, you should also observe if he does it excessively. This is how you spot a liar. Because when someone's lying, they tend to overdo the eye contact thing to compensate for the common belief that liars cannot maintain eye contact. The thing here is, the eye contact becomes staged and so much more more often than not, it appears unnatural and just too much. Do you know what else appears unnatural? It's when you try so hard, but you just don't know how to strike up a conversation with a guy. Do something about that now by watching this video where we give you pointers and tips on how to do so. Oh, hey, just a little reminder here that towards the end of this video, we're going to show you the number one sign that he's telling you the truth. So don't go away just yet. Plus, we still have four more items on our list of the signs that he's a liar. Let's get back to it. Number four, so down. Ladies, another way to spot a liar is to observe their demeanor. Are they looking down most of the time and they seem withdrawn? If they are, then you should be wary because they might be lying. When people are lying, they avoid cooperating or collaborating with another person in the fear that they might get caught. As a result, they appear withdrawn. Number three, low-pitched voice. Ladies, one of the things men want women to do more is listen to them attentively. Now, if you've been doing this, it might be easy for you to spot one of the signs he's a liar. This is when he lowers his tone of voice. A low tone of voice is associated with sadness and shame, so it's not surprising that when someone is lying, they tend to have a lower pitch than their normal voice. This also signifies that they may be hiding something from you and that they aren't comfortable about it. So the next time he talks to you, listen closely and observe if there are any changes in pitch. Also, the next time he talks to you, make sure you're doing some of the things that all men want women to do more by watching this video where we tell you not one but 15 of these things. Number 2. Barrier Carrier when people lie, they go on an auto-defense mode where they're always on guard because they know that they're not their usual selves and that they try to hide it. And so they go to great lengths to protect themselves. And sometimes this shows physically. It shows when they put up physical barriers between you and them. And though these barriers are not necessarily as big as a fence, the feeling that it's there gives them a bit of security. So watch out for barriers like a bag, a book, or even their arms the next time you talk to them. If they seem to always, always find a way to put something between the two of you, then there's a possibility that they're lying. 
Number one, yes and no. Okay, when it comes to dating, you want to know the person you're dating as much as possible. To do this, you come up with questions to ask a guy you like and ask him things about himself. Now, how would you know if he's answering your questions truthfully? Well, if you want to learn how to spot a liar, then you've got to be on the lookout for inconsistent gestures. Does he say no, but he nods his head yes? Or does he say he's an open book, but he crosses his arms as he says this? You see, when someone's lying, they try to deceive you with their words. What they don't know is that their body language shows what they're hiding. As Pamela Meyer quoted Sigmund Freud, no mortal can keep a secret. If his lips are silent, he chatters with his fingertips. So ask and probe further when you suspect that he's not telling the truth. Better yet, watch this video where we give you 10 thought-provoking questions that will reveal who he truly is. Phew, look how far we've come. Now we're in the part where we're going to tell you the number one sign that he's telling the truth. It's none other than being able to tell his story backwards. You see, liars spend so much effort in coming up with their stories. And as we've mentioned, they even go as far as putting extra details in in hopes of making their narrative more realistic. What they don't know is that the more details they include and the more made up their story is, the harder it is to tell it backwards. And so, the number one sign that he isn't lying is when they're able to tell their story backwards without hesitation, with enthusiasm. You see, they'll be able to answer any questions you have directly without even pausing to think. That is, if they're not fabricating. See, this is why we always say that you should be truthful, because it takes a lot of effort to lie. Plus, if you ever get successful in fooling someone, it's not going to be easy to maintain your lie. This is the very reason why one of the first date tips we give is to always be honest. Did we miss any of the signs that he's a liar? Let us know in the comments below. Ladies, now that you're all set to be a lies butter, it's a great idea if you're going to learn how to talk to a guy next. Now, there's no better way to do that than to watch this video we've made just for that purpose. In that video, we tell you nine tips and tricks to make striking a conversation with a guy you like easier for you. Ain't that great?